Hello and welcome back to my XR125. I'm about to check the tappets every time I start this. Well, not every time, but when it runs, it's ever so slightly tappy. A few people have agreed to that. And so I'm going to have a look, see what is happening. Uh, first job to do is take off the fairings so you can get access to up here. Okay, there looks like there's a few things to remove off the cylinder head first. If we can just release that. A couple of brackets here and uh, some kind of suction pipe. So we'll get doing that now. So there's the other end of this pipe here, which <coughs> just goes on the top there, and then two bolts here which secure the head. And now we'll just lift off. There we go, one um, rocker cover. <coughs> uh, gasket in there. I have a replacement, I'll probably put that in. Even though it looks quite good. I'll just quite clean in there as well. Now it's a case of removing this and this to find, set it all up to get top dead centre. <coughs> okay, so it's a 10mm Allen key bolt hex head for this one and 6mm for the top one. Okay, so it's a 14mm socket onto this crank bolt, but first you're going to need to remove the spark plug to allow it to spin around for you. Okay, there's my spark plug. Just taking that out, it looks a bit sooted, a bit worrying. I'll check, see whether that's what's supposed to look like. And here, what we're looking for is a T mark, which will mark it as being top dead centre. Another mark. Just keep going around. Okay, so we've got a mark at the top there. And apparently now, you should walk around a bit. Which they don't. Trick, apparently, put a little gently down the spark plug hole Let's see if you can feel the piston and it feels like it to me it's there so we've got a mark just inside there in the hole and then one at the top which is lining up and then that leaves a bit of play in these two tappet valves to check on that. So I'm just going to check the pistons at the top of the centre and get my feeler gauges. Okay, just to recap, because so I just had a bit of a drama finding the uh, correct gauge feeler set. Uh, my millimetre ones won't do the right sizes, so I found an inches one. And so, quick recap remove this and this, and the top here, and the spark plug the other side. Turn this around so you got at the top here the little mark which has got a T just at the back of it. There's two marks actually, but this one's got the T on, feels right. There's a little bit of play in the tappets themselves, and if you go around the other side, a bit better access. Spark plug missing, that was for it to turn over, and now I've just got to get the tap it to the right setting, which is um, 0 0.003 of an inch uh, for the exhaust and 0 
five for the inlet. So this is going to take some fiddling, I think. By the way, they are massively off. I can So, put it back together now and give it a test. Turn it over a few times and then recheck it. Okay, I've adjusted the tappets, ran the engine a couple of times, had a quick little break, let the oil settle again, now I'm going to just quick dismantle, set it up, check the tappets again, and then rebuild it all. Check the tappet sizes again. Um, I'm doing it in inches, so it's 0 0.003 of an inch. The front just wiggles through nicely, and then <coughs> 0 0.005 of the back. These two just stick together somehow. Put it all back together now. Get a new um, rubber seal in there. Give this lip a wipe. Now it can all go back together. <laughs> Thank you. 